As a young Christian activist, I volunteered myself into the group that defend the church against the Muslim onslaught. Most of us as youth, we went wild for vengeance and we took a revenge on innocent Christians who are living in our own communities. I lost my hand in some of the activities of protecting the church. This conflict led to me losing my spiritual teacher and two of my cousins. 11th of May 1995 was when we had the first meeting. It was a journalist who brought us together and said to us, gentlemen, you can keep Kaduna State together. I want you to talk. It was strange to see Christian and Muslim working together. I wouldn't have wanted to do anything with him other than to fight. The political crisis in Plateau State was caused by disagreements over indigent rights, economic rights and political representation, which resulted in communal clashes across the state. USIP has partnered with both male and female religious leaders across the globe because they are well positioned to bring communities together for peace. In Nigeria, this is particularly important where religion has been used to ignite violence. United States Institute of Peace give a seed grant for us to start the process of interventions in Yeruwa Shedda. Pastor James Wuye and Imam Ashafa founded the Interfaith Mediation Center to build Muslim-Christian collaborations for peace. They brought warring communities together to discuss their grievances in Yeruwa Shedda and to chart a way forward. After the mediation process was reached, agreement were reached, peaceful coexistence have continued. Today, 12 years after that intervention, Yeruwa Shedda has remained calm and peaceful. Grassroots dialogues like these are important for reducing violence, but we have found that they need to be complemented by changes in governance. We need to replicate ourselves in more imams and more pastors, both young men and young women, community leaders, to carry this banner and go around.